I have always loved walkers. Those robotic ones from Star Wars especially. I've loved them stomping around with their chicken legs, running around and crashing trees under them and generally being quite awesome. They always felt fast, deadly and terrifying and yet elegant. Now, 40k has walkers but not much, and space marines have none. One thing leads to another and in last August, more than a year ago, I began constructing a walker for my forgotten army. I drew inspiration from Pinterest and drew some concepts on a sheet of paper. From old toys and some spare Razorback bits, I built the first forgotten walker. Fast forward one year and it has been painted and used in many games as an invader ATV. And now I crave for more. So my goal today is to build my pal Brutus here to worthy companions. Let's go! I started by making the body. I used some toy tractor bits, some MDF and some other pieces of plastic, gluing them together with super glue and hot glue, depending on the material. I made two nearly identical cabins, but matching them perfectly was becoming harder and harder. That made me decide I'm going to make a more standard pilot and then also one that heavily customized his setup and vehicle. For pilots I used all primary synthesizers, cutting them apart and gluing them in a sitting pose. I also made sure to shave off the chest eagle and do some customization in my forgotten fashion. Green stuff time! As you can see, this is the customized setup of Pilot or Chunky for short. I made loads of custom cables from green stuff and connected both his arms to the vehicle. I also did a similar thing with the foot and the head. The guns introduced a unique challenge. I really wanted to match them, but I only had one half of the Razorback Twin Heavy Bolter, because the other half was already on Brutus. So I was like, screw it, and just started making a custom gun for Chunky from scratch. I cut open a small toy briefcase and threw some plastic bits, plastic card and green stuff on. And bam, a custom Merta Blaster at your service. It's time to make those chicken legs. I started by making the bases and then adjusted the pose of the legs according to the position of the stones on the base. I made them out of those Eprovets from when we had self-testing kits for COVID. Mistake! Because they are soft, the walkers now wiggle a bit when stood up, which is a bit of a shame. But nevertheless, I glued them in with hot glue and stuck them on the base. I of course did that out of frame, so you can enjoy my messy workspace. Talk about quality content! Let's get painting! After a black prime, I base coated the panels in Vallejo Kaki, and I painted the metal areas using Iron Warriors from Citadel. I mixed some light brown with water and used it through airbrush to make a smooth fade on the armor panels. A brassy metallic is used for the Merta gun and some cables. I then used Ariman Blue to paint the majority of the cables. This also provided a needed color pop. I also base coated some cables in yellow to prepare for future painting. Base coats are done, time for oil wash. I mixed brown and a bit of grey with loads of thinner and applied it over both miniatures. After they dried for a bit, I cleaned them with some thinner. Then I left them to fully dry overnight.
Now the best part, the details. I painted some hazard stripes on those yellow cables. I also used Ariman Blue again to highlight any blue areas. I picked some things in black and highlighted them up to a grey. I then edge highlighted the armor using a mix of beige and white. I then also used the same mix to paint on the signature markings. And that is the paint job completed. Let's look at the results. Today we learned a lesson. If Games Workshop doesn't make a miniature, build it yourself. In lore, walkers were made by one and only Brutus, who built one from scrap to help him escape from the center of enemy forces. That is why his walker looks a bit different than other models, standing a bit taller from the ground. The Forgotten Marines use walkers for fast and efficient conquering of terrain, while being able to ditch out decent amounts of firepower. Some are also adapted as medic walkers and are used to rescue wounded marines from the battlefield. And that's your portion of forgotten lore for today. Now, I would like to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your patience. I know this was another very long gap, it happens, but you still keep the channel going and stay by my side, I can't thank you enough. Plans? More forgotten of course, but I have some other projects in the making. Probably another video in December, definitely one around New Year. The future is bright and I can't wait to share more creative projects with you. As always, likes and your opinion in the comments are appreciated. And until we see each other again, have a good one everyone!